Yo, 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 motherfuckers, we're going to drop some street knowledge on you here at the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around, because the rappers of the world support Donald Trump. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. That was my terrible rap impersonation. Yes, uh, obviously I didn't pursue a career in rap quite wisely. But what we're going to talk about today is uh, Donald Trump and the rap revolution. Yes, all the rappers that are supporting Donald Trump for the uh, 2020 election. First of all, you know, the, uh, it all started with uh, Kanye. Um, Kanye is one of the more talented uh, rappers of the last 15, uh, 20 years. And, uh, uh, you know, he, he, I've, I've got a number of his albums over the years. And, he, you know, he always popped up on the radar as somebody who um, was innovating the... Um, the form and you know the, the form itself um I've never been a huge rap fan personally. I mean, when rap first began, I was interested in it. Um, I was interested in, in uh, bands like Public Enemy, um, and I was particularly fond of Professor Griff, uh, and he had like the uh, kind of like almost like a black nationalist paramilitary group that was inside um, Public Enemy, and they dressed up in kind of paramilitary clothes. And I thought that was a very positive image um, for the black community that presented a kind of black nationalism. And I, I, I never saw. Um, black nationalism as being any kind of threat to white nationalism because I believe all the world's nationalisms can unite and be together. So I had no problem at all with Public Enemy and I was a fan of other early rap groups. Um, Schooly D was an original gangster rap group I thought was very good. Some of the early um, rap stuff, even back to Blondie and, and some stuff like this. But, you know, in the 90s, Beastie Boys and uh, even the early Eminem I was quite fond of. But I think in the in the last 20 years, rap went in a direction I didn't really like. It became dominated by the kind of gangster rap thing and it just all became about bitches and blunts and I didn't really like it very much. Um, but, uh, you know, I still kept, uh, every now and then, uh, you know, I kept an eye on a good group. Um, there's a band called Run The Jewels, which I quite like. Uh, I got their new album the other day. I think that's quite good. But anyway, um, you know, it's quite... It, Obviously, uh, rap music has a kind of uh, large influence over uh, youth culture and influences young people a lot. So when Kanye came out in support of uh, Donald Trump, um, the um, DNC obviously went into kind of um, panic mode again because Kanye would influence a lot of African-American voters, uh, male and female, um, and even older voters into their 30s and 40s and 50s. Um, you know, and, you know, there's this whole thing about um, leaving the plantation, leaving the Democrat plantation, because Democrats just expect the vote of African Americans. They don't expect them to vote conservative. And um, obviously, Candace Owens sort of uh, emerged from this um, milieu around Kanye, and I think um, Kanye became white, became became red pilled. Sorry, due to. Um, uh, Candace Owens, and Candace Owens is fantastic. Just about every video I see of Candace Owens, I, I just think she's fantastic. I think she, she's a fantastic new right uh, exponent. She's a great supporter of Donald Trump. And uh, in the last couple of weeks, we've seen a whole torrent of um, rappers join the uh, Kanye um, uh, Trump uh, rapper um, throng, so to speak. So we had 50 Cent. He came on board because, uh, as he wittily said, he doesn't want to be 20% because I think um, the tax rate that Joe Biden wants to impose on people who earn as much money as 50 Cent is going to be 80 percent, so he would be only 20 cent, not 50 cent. I thought that was rather uh, interesting. There's a rapper called Little Pump. He came out. I've never heard of him. He came out in support of uh, Donald Trump. So good on him. And then Little Wayne. There's another one who uh, I had heard of him. And I didn't. I still don't really know his music, but I'd seen him talk about um, you know politics, African American politics, and he said that racism is not a problem for the African American community. I mean, and if it is, it's one that's you know well down the list. This is something that Candace Owens has repeated. So uh, Little Wayne came out. And he met with the president the other day, and there's a great photograph I put it on my Instagram page, and you should all share around uh, social media of Lil Wayne uh, shaking the hands of Donald Trump. So there's been a revolution, ladies and gentlemen. Drop the knowledge, you know, um, from uh, the rappers in the rap community, uh, and even uh, good old uh, Flavor Flav um, from Public Enemy. They had a big fight recently because Flavor Flav was in support of Donald Trump, I think, and uh, he had to leave the band because the rest of the band obviously was still sticking with the Democratic Party. So there's been a whole revolution here, and I think it's great, and I think it's it's just part of the kind of momentum that's building up to the Trump victory uh, coming in a few days. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's support the rappers who support Donald Trump and uh, rock on. Boy!